uh, first of all we need to actually remove this sanity uh, sanity document for this uh, feature so let's actually delete this one can i delete like that no i need to delete from here somewhere yeah so deleting this document yeah right now we do not have any kind of feature as you can see and now we need to actually customize this whole thing so for that let's delete all this thing and let's go to our studio folder and inside the studio folder let's create a new file sorry new folder with the name of components bar list dot js so this sidebar list js yes, will be for our uh, customization so right now we have the sidebar but uh, we want to actually uh, change that so how we can do that so first of all for that we need to import our uh, sanity structure builder so import s from we need to go to our sanity uh, we need to go to our uh, desk desk tool and inside that we have our structure builder so this structure builder will be necessary to actually customize your uh, sanity desk so after that we need to create a function and let's say that name of this function will be the sidebar list and inside this function uh, return so for now let's say that return this is a test so we will return this text for now and export this stuff export uh, default we need to export default sidebar list and we need to use or we need to actually uh, list this thing in our sanity so for that we need to go to our sanity json and you can find this sanity json file here inside the studio folder inside the studio folder if you look sanity.json that's the file so here you can see that for the sanity if you scroll down you will find this part so here you can actually uh, add the custom thing that you want to add like the schema you want to add the custom schema that's why you said that i want to have custom schema and the path of this custom schema will be will be in the schemas folder and the schema.js so that's what we actually said so we need to do the same thing for our uh, sidebar so what we need to do actually we need to say that we want to customize our we want to customize our uh, structure so name will be so this is json so that's why uh, double quotes will be necessary and here we will say that part at sanity desk tool structure So what we are saying is we are saying that we want to customize our structure and where you want to actually uh, where is the file of this structure the file of this structure will be the path we need to give the path of this file which is the sidebar list so here we need to go to our uh, components and here we have side bar list that's it so now if i do it will actually grab the sidebar list and it will actually create the structure based on this sidebar list this should be capital s because the file name is capital s sidebar list so it is not working i believe uh, we need to actually restart the server right now we have the sanity server opening and let's actually close the server and rerun the server once again and uh, i think because we actually modified this sanity.json because this is the file where all the sanity uh, plugins and all i mean all the sanity json or sanity configuration is here so that's why whenever we actually modified this we need to actually restart the server for that and let's wait So our sanity server is um, successfully compiled and if I go to our studio and refresh now we should see the change. Yeah, as you can see that we are seeing an error and contained an error putting a structure. So however we are actually having, uh, we are actually making the structure. So that's why 
it is actually expecting us an object for the structure so let's actually do that instead of having these this is test let's go to our structure and let's make it so here we need to say that uh, we want to have the s dot uh, list so inside that let's actually do something like that so that we can read it easily so we want to show our uh, title of the project which is the title and let's say that tag hub block and after that we want to uh, show the items so here for the item the first one we want to create it manually so as dot uh, item list item so we want to create the first one manually because this will be the our featured one so and after that we need to specify the title for this uh, item so title and let's say that it will be the featured and uh, also the id here we will say that um, featured items and after that icon so the icon will be the so md star i think we can use this one so import md star from react icons slash md so md icons sorry md star and after that uh we need to specify the child of this uh, item so child and uh, we can say as dot editor dot uh, schema type and we need to say what is the schema type so the schema type i wanna uh, show inside this item is the featured one right so if i go to my featured featured dot js and the type for this one is the sorry the name of this one is the featured and we need to specify the type here which is the featured so this should be the name of the schema type and after that we need to specify the document id so after that let's go to here after the schema type we can let's actually make it under this one so here we can say document id so document id so this document id will be the featured items and that's it so once i do like that if i save okay so there is something wrong so this will not have any kind of comma after that because this is dot notation so if i save that and come here in our uh, document sorry in our state studio i can see my featured one so this featured as you can see that this featured is our only item because we have only our one item so this document id will be the featured items and also here we said that the child of this uh, document will be the only one which have a schema type of featured what i did is i said that i want to create a list item which will be the featured this one and the id of this document will be the featured items and we'll have an icon here for this document and also the child of this document which we are creating right now here this child will have an editor and inside the editor we want to actually create our featured schema type and also this one and also the instance id of this document will be the featured items as well so really awesome thing that we did here we actually created our featured so right now we cannot create multiple uh, instance of this document because we specifically said here there will be only one child and this child will be here so that's what we want and after this uh, featured we want back all of our uh, all of our list document list right so for that what i need to do is i need to just say uh, we can spread as dot document list uh, sorry not this one document uh, type list items so document type list items 
inside that I just can actually spread all of the document list items and if I do I can see my all of the document type um, list items are back but the problem is I can see now two featured so this feature is custom that we created here this one will have only one child but this one can have multiple child and this is the default we created from our featured schema type so right now we do not want this um, the last one so what we can do actually we can filter uh, we can filter it out so after this we can set dot filter and we can do a filter here so item and here we can say we can return uh, item item dot get id so we can get an item with an id so if it is not featured then we will add otherwise we will not add it so and if i do okay this one should be inside the string so now we are checking for the id based on the id we will actually remove it so the id of this item if i go to our featured so this is the id will be the name so based on the name you can actually uh, we are actually filtering out this one so great now we customize the whole thing means the whole sidebar now we can have our single uh, child single document with the featured items and if i do title uh, featured items and if i add item here so for the blocks i want to have my blocks and for the categories i want to have my categories awesome and if i publish i can publish it so we are done with customizing our uh, sanity studio i hope you like that so i'll see you soon in the next video